Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is June 14th, 2018, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day, earlier this morning out of Australia, we had an employment change rate change. So we'll take a look at that. 10.30 South African time later on this morning, monthly retail sales coming out of the United Kingdom. That's followed up with a 145 refinancing rate decision coming out of the euro that's an important number coming out and then that's followed up with a european central bank press conference and that's at 2 30 south african time simultaneously at 2 30 we're having monthly retail sales coming out of the united states so lots of numbers coming out today refinancing rate probably the more important number out of everything there uh, if there are any major changes there i do expect some volatility otherwise the markets are already forecasting the changes and as we saw yesterday with the fomc rate decision with the change to two percent the banks are allowed to charge each other not much the markets didn't really react so much okay the volatility was relatively small considering you know a rate decision change so let's take a look at the markets of what we anticipate for today So we're starting out with the euro usd here and as you can see it's trading at 118.36 now if we take a look at yesterday's activity with the fomc meeting it's really here okay you could see that uh, major uh retracement here that sell-off okay or tankage as you call it 1727 from 1789 ish level and that's about in 70 to 80 pip move okay not a major move but you know significant 70 80 pips within intraday is relatively big okay however not as big as i would have anticipated it with a rate decision change okay we changed to two percent so i would have expected maybe 100 to 200 pip change but as you can see it was already factored in now the markets retaliated right back and the euro got stronger versus the dollar and trading at 118 and it's at this top level right here okay where it's trading at resistance at 118 ish okay so if we don't break above this later today okay with some volumes okay might not happen today maybe happen tomorrow but i do anticipate some sort of correctional move and that will be trading within these two ranges okay between 1736 and somewhere at 118 ish okay but that's as long as we don't break on the high side so let's take a look at this right financing rate later today and to see if it's going to break it out if it does break out then we could see further correction somewhere into the 119 ish level okay so that's something to anticipate later today now if we do break the 117.37 surely we could go back to the low 117 maybe even break 116.91 looking at the gbp usd it did also trade yesterday quite nicely uh, but as you can see it you know came right back to the top of the range however we didn't come to the higher top of the range to 134.60 ish level just like we would have come to the euro usd so as you can see the euro usd a little bit stronger than the gbp usd vis-a-vis uh, -vis the dollar okay if that makes any sense uh the euro versus the dollar versus the gbp versus the dollar the euro looks a little bit stronger okay with that said now looking at the swiss franc yes they would i would have expected a little bit more of a rally back to this 99 ish level making the trend line a top of a resistance line however we didn't get that far okay and we started selling off from 198 we're trading here at 198.40 ish level not a big retracement okay so we may just find ourselves trading within a range and you know testing this double bottom at one at 98.13 and looking into the euro rate decision later today let's see how that unfolds now looking at the usd rand we had a little bit of a correctional move yesterday from one uh, from 1334 to 1324 ish level okay um but however this is still relatively in an upwards trend versus the dollar okay you know upwards trend getting weaker versus the dollar from our 111 112 ish level that we got to earlier in the year so you know with that said we still have resistance at 1363 ish level i would anticipate that this possibly may be a small retracement as we look to trade this further in the week now looking at the aussie us dollar as you can see the dollar getting weaker versus the aussie back to the 75 ish level as you can see here we're at previous resistance okay subsequent support all right with that said we're at a pivot point just like we are with the euro usd okay we need to either break this on the downside to get a little bit stronger with the aussie versus the dollar or we need to you know hold this line and then bounce off of it so let's take a look at that and see how that unfolds later today now the markets 
all in all yesterday looking at gold not much happening trading at 1300 ish level really in a tight range but looking at the Dow Jones yesterday we sold off a little bit after the numbers so if we look at that here from 25,369 to 25,173 almost a 200 point move but still nothing really you know out of the ordinary okay this is you know if I didn't know the FOMC was having a rate decision yesterday and I look at this I'd say okay people are just taking some money off the table from its you know 1,000 point rally from last week to this week so with that said okay let's see how that unfolds further today okay so relatively the Dow Jones looks kind of strong now looking at the JSC we had a nice rally from starting out from last week to this week as you can see here but this morning we're trading at 52051 and we're at the top of the range here so this might be a possible short here okay with an anticipation of it trading between the 52000 level and the 50000 level okay so to have to take a look at that later today looking at the dax uh gapping down here at 12822 also okay this is nice uh little uh resistance level here that it's setting itself up on the downside remember on the on the downside we have several levels that we can consider support but ultimately i think we're trading in a range until we have some clarification you know either way either breaking it out on the upside or breaking down on the downside now looking at bitcoin yesterday we had a little bit of a breakout here we had a gap down earlier in the week obviously and then you know capitulating at 6192 bitcoins okay now it's retaliating a little bit at 6400 ish level okay but it has broken the support level okay so could be that this is a subsequent support level at 6100 ish level okay but definitely resistance at 6625 ish level okay so that's something to keep an eye out now remember the the spread in this uh in bitcoin is quite wide okay so just you know trade responsibly trade a little bit smaller even you know because it's a little bit more um difficult to you know having that entry level you know be anticipated so you really have to be a little bit more careful with your entry levels uh your entry points excuse me with the bitcoin um symbol this is fred razak want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you